Huh? Pause, bro. Gentlemen! I hope you're ready to embark on a fun new journey. Look, I know the idea of a Bruh. meme review isn't exactly original. Not a sound like anything I've ever done is original. But an NFL meme, meme review? review? Honestly, the timing couldn't be better. There's literally so much going on in the football world right now. It makes me so hype. NCAA football's coming out. That's so lit. You know damn well I'm doing an MSU dynasty. Plus, Stafford goes to the Rams. And then Jared Goff comes to line. I don't give a shit about Jared Goff. I just want the draft picks. Lots going on. But you know, I think this could be dope. Once every few months, couple weeks, whatever, we garner the best memes out there in the NFL world. They're always updating. And we go through them. So I tweeted out, gonna make a vid NFL meme review. Send your best. You don't win anything if you make me laugh. Not like the other videos, but hey, at least it'll be funny. The Chiefs gathering all the money they can to try and outbid Tom Brady paying off the Super Bowl refs. Dude, this is like actually Sports Center's dream because Sports Center sucks <laughs> off Mahomes and they suck off Tom Brady. So, like, what are they gonna do when this happens? There's no way the refs can really be in favor of either team. Packers fans right now. Why does everyone think Aaron Rodgers is getting traded? I don't think Aaron Rodgers is getting traded. I highly doubt it. When the NFL says there's gonna be a female ref in the Super Bowl, oh boy. <laughs> no, no. Yo, I will say, you know, we're gonna make jokes. We know we're gonna make jokes, but this chick's actually Aww. a really good ref. She's a really good referee. I'm still gonna make Sarah Fuller jokes though. Holy shit. I can outkick her in my sleep. Like actually. <laughs> Literally could have my eyes shut and outkick her. For legal purposes, I can't laugh as loud as I want to. Oh, fuck you. I know what this is gonna be. Bruh. Okay. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Damn, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. Dude, Tom just wants a smooch, bro. Trevor Lawrence conspiracy We lost theory. the game against Ohio State. He wanted to do all that he could to lower his draft stock and raise Justin Fields. The plan is for the Jacksonville Jaguars to take Fields at number one and for the New York Jets to stick with Sam Darnold, especially after winning the last two games. Picks three through 13 don't really need a quarterback. But if you look at pick number 14, the New England Patriots. You know what my crazy opinion is? I think Justin Fields might actually go to the Lions. Hell no. I know this sounds so stupid, but just hear me out, okay? The Jags take Trevor Lawrence. The Jets do stick with Sam Darnold. Dolphins, Falcons, Bengals, Eagles will most likely not take Justin Fields. And the Lions are in the rebuild mode right now. We take Justin Fields, we keep tanking. I don't know, dude. Stop the cap. <laughs> I think it's optimistic thinking. I'm sure the Lions will somehow fumble the bag and take like a huh? right guard or some shit. And unless they pick up Will Clapp, I don't even want to hear it. Belichick watching Brady get into the Super Bowl. Yo, I want to know who carried who, gentlemen. Did Tom Brady carry Belichick or did Belichick carry Brady? Honestly, not even a meme. That is just so funny. I don't know why Nickelodeon even wanted to air an NFL game. I don't understand what happened behind the scenes in all this, but it's so funny that that happened on the show. How is it? It's not even embarrassing to lose as a Lions fan, though. We just lose. It's not embarrassing. Losing never heard of her. Did I set this live when the Steelers were 11 and 0? I was like, this is the worst 11 and 0 team I've ever seen in my whole life. It's not like I've seen a ton of 11 and 0 teams and could really compare that. But when you would watch the Steelers play, you're just like, bro, this is not an undefeated team. That's all I'm gonna say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Corvette, Corvette. White people, white people, white people. The <laughs> NFC Championship game is the annual championship game of the National Football Conference where a team gets to win against the Green Bay Packers. Bro, the Packers had home field too. I was watching that game in an airport. I was so pissed off. I wanted the Packers to win that so bad, bro. Can Tom Brady just like not be in the Super Bowl, please? Can we like let that happen? Oh my God. I totally forgot. These are the two head coaches. Wow. Wow. Dude, I will say this though. The Buccaneers were hey. god awful for the last four years. Just so bad. And then Tom Brady just steps in and they're just makes me so mad. Oh boy. Redskins forever. This man is on every sports post. <laughs> 
He would have cried if he wasn't 99, so we just gave it to him. You just lost the chat, Henny. Yeah, that's tough, bro. That's tough. I guarantee after that loss, those players are just checking their DMs and seeing this yeah. picture in them, like, the whole time. If I was an NFL player, I would never check my DMs at any point. Oh, my God. Do you know how horrible their DMs must be? NFL on Nickelodeon hits different. Wild card game is coming to me. The win. Get fucking shit. <laughs> Basically, the Cordero Patterson one. Who was that? Is that Matt Ryan? Get fucking set! Get fucking set! <laughs> That was Matt Ryan, wasn't it? I'm on a seafood diet. I eat seafood and I eat it. Okay. Um, this is an NFL meme review, and this is like the least funny thing I've ever seen. This actually puts in perspective. How is Kirk Cousins getting 84 million? That is whack. I don't know how someone signs off on that. Yo, Kirk Cousins went to MSU. I love the guy, but I also know football. What's he be thinking about? I know you're a big nuts guy. Huge so, nuts. Yes, yeah, so that's why I wanted to. <laughs> I tried to stay real? there, but I couldn't. Damn it. Am I allowed to say huge nuts again? Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah. Such a ridiculous thing to say. Yeah, huge nut guy always. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my quarterback anymore, bro. It's not my quarterback. Now I'm happy. He's going to win a Super Bowl. You know, Matt Stafford actually followed me. He just followed me to Los Angeles. I was in Detroit. He was in Detroit. So I went here. He came here. This cup. This cup. This cup. This cup. And now I'm going to Arizona, so if you see him as a Cardinal, don't be surprised. Crying on Twitter that a 4-10-1 team won't play their heart out to win for them. New York Giants. <laughs> Dude, that was the funniest day on Twitter. That was the funniest day on Twitter. When, like, Giants players were so mad that the Eagles wouldn't win, but all you guys were fighting for was, like, who's gonna lose in the first round of the playoffs? You know what? Congrats. Lions didn't make the playoffs. Congratulations. Whatever. This was a funny day on Twitter, though. I'll say that. Hey, yo, look at this field position. Surely they'll give it to the best running back in the league for a yard. I've seen this edit before. This is an alternate universe where the Seahawks hand the ball off to Marshawn. Are you ready? Let's go! They got a ring though. How depressing would that have been if Russell Wilson and that Seahawks team didn't get a ring? And they lost their ring because of that play call. When Julio Jones has more catches than Michael Thomas this week. That's not fair because Michael Thomas was injured, okay? It's not fair. Why is this no, even a graphic? No way this is real. Is this real? Did like Sports Center or somebody make this graphic? Number of children? Bro, who is the guy? Is it's like Rogers Cromarty, right? They gotta throw him in tier two. I think Rogers Cromarty has like eight different kids with like eight different wives. Philly Rivers just keeps going back and fighting his wife. Like, bro, stop. You have to stop. I aspire to be that horny at age whatever, 40. I don't know how old Philip Rivers. Is, but that guy's horny. Father Meeks. Dude, I saw this. It's so fire. But like, guys, NFL meme review. Let's stick to the program here. Holy shit, dude. I never thought about this. It's honestly just pure chance that AB and Le'Veon Bell are in the Super Bowl. They like barely helped their teams at all to get there. Bell didn't do shit. AB was like the third best receiver on that team. That is kind of unlucky though. Damn. Dude, one of the Steelers, prime AB, prime Le'Veon Bell, a bit younger Roethlisberger. That was a scary squad. Texans owner goes to the bathroom without asking permission to Sean Watson. You goddamn fucker. Listen, fuckhead. You have fucking crossed the line. Honestly, any Alex Jones meme is pretty good. Dynamic duos? This is not real. There is no way. People on the internet are way too good at this shit. Is this real? No way. I don't believe this. Someone said, was this real? The other person said, yes. They aired this shit? Bleach me an Eagles fan. I mean, I hear you, but there's a promising future there. Doug Peterson's out. Jalen Hurts is a stud. You got a lot of young talent. I wouldn't be too upset as an Eagles fan right now. Nate said about the Giants playoffs and Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson actually fell on the sword for that organization. He pulled off the tank. He secured a better draft pick. He knew what he was doing. He pissed off a lot of people. Five years from now, no one's going to remember that Doug Peterson tanked those games. Everyone's going to remember that the Eagles are a solid squad because they had good draft picks, hopefully. That's what I want for that team. If the Lions had, had done the Doug Peterson route five years ago, we'd probably actually be pretty good right now. I really don't understand it. Can someone with more football knowledge than me please explain why Deshaun Watson actually wants to go to the Jets? Like, what does he see in the Jets that he doesn't see in the Texans? Maybe different owners. I think he likes the coach of the Jets, but bro! The Jets are the team that ran an eight-man blitz single coverage against the Hail Mary when they were winning! 
always looking for me. I've seen this so many times. I still don't believe this is real. There's no way that Tom Brady did not know what he was doing there. <laughs> That put me in a bad mood, I'm not gonna lie. We'll say way too many people uh, make the joke about Jackson Mahomes potentially being gay. That's a low hanging fruit. Let's just say that, okay? Number one, we don't know if that's true. Number two, so what? So what if he is? If you wanna make fun of him for being annoying as shit, yeah, fuck that guy, yeah. A classic when you see Keenan Allen open downfield. This actually is a classic. Look at this tweet from Bengal. Literally 5,000 retweets, 25,000 likes. That's a banger. So accurate. The only man capable of making someone root for Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. Yeah, look, say what you want. I'm still rooting for the Chiefs. Although, I hear what you're saying. You just lost to Sus Brady. That is a deep threat, my man. You just lost to Bruh. the breeder. I want to know what Philip Rivers thinks about this. I want to know his rationale between having nine children. I am horrified of having one child. I want to know what his wife thinks about this, bro. This gotta be just kids just running around. That's a daycare. Philip Rivers is hosting a daycare in his home. Ames is trash. I love you. Thank you, my man. Hey, my day. Tom Brady in his second half of the NFC Championship game. This is actually so true. I was watching that game like, bro, he's gonna win. He's playing like shit. Tom Brady's QBR in the second half of that game was like 30. It was horrible. All right, hey, NFL meme review, V1 in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's actually really fun to do. I want to do these infrequently because I want new content. I want it to be saucy. I want it to be good. I don't know. Maybe we'll even wait till next NFL season, but I want to give you guys a little taste today. So I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much as always. Peace out.